Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where our view, test, out, and demonstrate of various free VSTs. For today, we are reviewing the legendary Sonatina Orchestra Pack. There is a lot, as you can see. We have the harp, tuba, viola, clarinet, percussion, horn, cello, timpani, flute, trumpet, violin, bassoon, chimes, piano, xylophone, choir, glockenspiel, trombone, oboe, and the double bass. This was actually like the first free uh like instrument vst i ever heard of you know the first free vst i ever heard of in case you're curious was a vox ago msed and that blew my mind that there was actually a good free plugin that was very useful for production and so that kind of brought me down that rabbit hole of finding as many free plugins as i could and the first one from this pack was actually the choir some of these you can download on their own Obviously, in this case, I download the entire pack as one thing, so I can select any instrument that I want. In addition, I will say, some instruments have different, like, specific settings. So, for example, I know with the trumpet, there's four different versions of the trumpet on the Sonatina uh, Sina Tino Orchestra set. I will say, too, for some of these, I really do like the sound quality. Some of them, I really don't, and then everywhere in between, right? This is, for me, again, like I said, was really the first instrument slash orchestral VST plug-in pack. And I feel like it's probably still probably the most iconic one because it was the first. Uh, so again, because this one's a bit older, some things are really good about it. Some things are a bit met. Just being honest, you know, right after that. But anyway, let's jump into how it sounds. So starting off with the harp. I like the sound quality of this one a lot. Going down lower registers. And we got now next up we got the tuba so we have two different versions of the tuba we have the sustain and the staccato now this is not true for every single one but i've noticed for whatever reason specifically with the sunny Tuna orchestra pack the staccato version of a lot of the instruments is usually the best sounding one i don't know why i i don't i'm not sure if that's because maybe because you're playing it so short you can't tell how bad it is or maybe the way they sampled it i'm not sure uh but anyway jump into the tuba See, to me, that sounds very Casio keyboardish. Not the biggest fan of the tuba uh, sustain, but now the staccato. See, to me, that just sounds, you know, a lot more realistic. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, the way, just either the, the way they recorded it or the sampling or whatnot, the staccato for a lot of these sounds better than the sustain versions. Next, we're going to the viola. And we have the sustain, staccato, and pizzicato. If I'm pronouncing that right. Not bad. And then we got the staccato. And then we got pizzicato. Oh, that one sounds the best so far. Reminds me of like uh, the market score for uh, Zelda. <laughs> I can't remember how it goes actually. It's, I don't know. Like the sound of that one a lot. Now let's go to the clarinet. We got solo, clarinets, sustain, and the bass clarinet. Which one's not too bad. Now let's try clarinet sustain. See, mm. I think I like the solo one of that one the best. I'm gonna try the bass now. Mm. All right. Now let's go to the percussion. So we're gonna have one here. So I'm assuming there's probably different things all the way, you know, through here where. You know, I'm gonna use a mouse probably. Here. I like that actually. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Actually, some cool samples on this one. I 
nothing. Okay, so it's just... It's kind of interesting. So it ends here. Decent samples. I don't think anything I'd use, obviously, for, like, a full set. But if I want, like, a... Some of these are not bad. I like that. That actually could be very useful. So, not bad. Okay. Now let's go to the horn. So, for the horn, we have the solo horn, horn sustain, horn sustain 2, and the horn staccato. Uh, not the bad. Mm. Now let's try the sustain. I feel like that actually be really good for like a trap or hip hop song. And I've said this before in a bunch of other videos that I think sometimes, especially for a lot of plugins, or I guess anything in music production, it's not necessarily what you have, but how you use it. And sometimes having this kind of cheesy, like that cheesy horn sound can actually be really useful, you know, being honest. Check out Horn Sing 2. Oh, I don't like the pros in that one. And now let's go to Horn Staccato. Alright, moving on, we got the cello. And we got the solo, sustain, staccato, and pizzicato. Actually, that one sounds a little... I think I like that better than the... Uh, I think I'll maybe like that one a bit better than the viola. Sure. Yeah. It's weird that it's jumping back and forth. That might be a programming error. All right, now let's go to staccato. And then pizza cow. I like the sound of that one. Now we got timpani. It's only one. So I wonder if this are these all rolls? Uh, I wish they weren't all just like rolls. Eh. And that one I'm not the biggest fan of, being honest. All right, now we got the flute. We have, ooh, we got five. Flute, flute sustain, flute staccato, alto flute, and the piccolo. Wow, well, actually, I... Actually, that's probably one of my favorites so far. That's pretty good. All right, now try to sustain. Really liking the flute. All right, staccato. All right, now we got the alto flute. Hmm. Sounds a little bit like, it's like a clarinet more. I'm doing like a little oboe-ish in there. And we got piccolo. Mm, that one's okay. <clears throat> now we got the trumpet. Now I have reviewed this one in depth. You know, some of these I have reviewed as its own specific video. But for the trumpet, we got the solo, trumpet sustain, trumpet sustain two, and trumpet staccato. So let's play them up. Now, being honest with the trumpet, I think I dislike the trumpet sound probably the most out of, uh, well, I haven't ha tried all these, but in terms of the ones I have tried. Like, that almost sounds like, to me, like a synthesizer that's trying to make a trumpet. That's how it sounds like to me, personally. The staccato, though, I like, and I've said that before in that video. Uh 
A little better in my opinion, but trumpet, not the biggest fan. Now let's go to the violin. Mm. All right, now what do we have for settings? Whoa, we got a lot on this one. We got, well, let's just go down the line. Um, so we got first violin sustain. First violin sustain. First violins sustain two. It's like a tongue twister. I wish there's a way I could kind of play them all, you know, where I could like almost like layer them. I could obviously do different instances, but you know. And we got tremolo. Eh, not bad. And we got staccato. Better. We got pizza. Ooh, I like that. We got sustain. And then we got staccato. I think I like the first violins a little better. And pizza. Panning seems a lot more, so you can check there. Hmm. All right, moving on, we got the bassoon. We have three here. We have the solo, bassoon, sustain, and contra bassoon. This one's a little bit too cheesy for me, but one's a little better. I think the contra bassoon, because I have reviewed this one, I think is the best one. I like that sound. But I wish the sustain was a little bit longer. That's one thing I will say. No, we got the 17 at chimes. Just chimes. Actually. That one actually, I think I, I not necessarily for like a melody, but I feel like just for like a static note, like say if I'm making like a church bell style sound, you know? Can I go lower than that, actually? I don't think I'd play a melody with this one, but it's almost more of like a, I guess technically it is a percussive instrument, but uh, I think I'd use that one more for like one quick, sit, like a one shot, you know what I mean? Oh, wow, that, that, interesting that they changed the GUI on the piano. Okay, okay. <laughs> Being honest, I'm not the biggest fan of that. There's so many different free piano plugins. I reviewed obviously a ton of them on this channel. So I think I'm almost I'm honestly more harsh when it comes to VSTs that there's a lot of or more common. So really not the fan of that one, being honest. Let's go to the xylophone. Back to the original GUI. So let's see. Actually, one's not bad. I like this one. I like that one. What is that? Wait. Ah, oh, wait. Ah. Oh. Wait. Yeah, something, something like that. Classic Rugrats theme song. Really clever composition too. Uh, anyway, so we got the choir now. I'll review this one as well. So we have both ladies and gentlemen. So. Now let's do just ladies. And then let's do just gentlemen. Really cool. Now we got the Glockenspiel. One of my favorite names for an instrument, by the way. I don't know, it's a cool sounding name. A little sharp on the high end. Definitely some EQing. Moving on, we got uh, the trombone. So we have the tenor, the bass, the trombone sustain, and the trombone staccato. Eh, it's all right. The bass trombone. Ooh. 
It'd be cool to kind of resample that and see how we can mess around with that. You know? And then we got the sustain. Ah, uh, it's very cheesy to me. And then lastly, the staccato. See that one? Something about the staccato just sounds better. Reminds me a lot of the trumpet, obviously. I guess similar, similar instruments in a sense. Also very different, but similar brass style instruments. Then we got the oboe. We got solo, oboe, sustain, English horn. Interesting that they put the English horn with them. Actually, that one's not, not bad. I actually like this one. It's interesting, it, like I said way in the beginning of this video, it's interesting how some instruments I really, really like and other ones I'm not the biggest fan of. That one's pretty good too, actually. I like the sustain. And lastly, we got the English horn. It's probably one of my favorite ones yet, actually, is the oboe, surprisingly. And lastly, but not least, the double bass. So we have sustain, staccato, and pizzicato. Wow, I really like the sound of that. Now we got staccato. Wow, this actually might be my favorite so far. Ooh, I like the subtleness of that one too. So that is the Sunday Tino Orchestra set. <laughs>